Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Every electronic component that we see around us is based on a circuit. The circuits of these items could range from being basic to being very complicated. But there are some primary laws that can be applied to all these circuits, whether simple or complicated, and are termed as fundamental laws of electrical circuits. When a circuit is made through a circuit, there will be charges flowing in it. These charges flowing through the circuit conduct current. Now that a current is flowing through the circuit, it will experience some opposition to its flow of charges. This opposition is termed as its resistance. Charges flow because of potential difference. This difference is required to move a charge from one point to another and is termed as voltage. Thus, there is a basic relationship between current, voltage and resistance in a current carrying conductor. The fundamental laws of electrical circuits are basically the laws that govern them. These laws were developed by George Ohm and Gustav Kirchhoff independently and are known as Ohm's laws and Kirchhoff's laws. Let us first discuss Ohm's law. Ohm's law was discovered in 1827. It gives a relation between voltage, current and resistance. To understand Ohm's law, we will take the analogy between water flowing through a pipe and a current flowing through a circuit. Now, when we pass water through a pipe, then the flow of water is analogous to the flow of current in a circuit. The energy required by the water to move from one point to another is its voltage and the friction offered by the pipe is resistance. Ohm stated that current I between the two points is directly proportional to the voltage V across the two points and inversely proportional to the resistance R between them. That is, when we consider our water pipe example, the elevation in the pipe between the two levels will describe the potential of how easily the water flows, whereas resistance of the wire can be related to the material of the pipe. The more rough the pipe, the less easily the water will flow. Hence, Ohm's law is given by V equals IR. By rearranging the terms, we can get the equations for resistance and current also. Next, we'll study the second fundamental laws of electrical circuits, the Kirchhoff's laws. Kirchhoff's laws extended the study of Ohm's law. It gave us equations that helped us in calculating current, voltage, and resistance for analyzing a circuit with multiple components. There are two Kirchhoff's laws, Kirchhoff's current law and Kirchhoff's voltage law. First, let us look into Kirchhoff's current law. Kirchhoff's current law states that the average sum of the magnitude of current entering a junction is equal to the sum of currents leaving the junction. We will understand this with the help of this image here. Now, there is a junction here in the image where all these currents pass through. A junction is a point where three or more points join. The current in the given setup is I1, I2, I3 and I4. If we look at the image here, we observe that I1 and I2 are pointing towards the junction, while I3 and I4 are pointing away from the junction. Now, according to Kirchhoff's rule, I1 plus I2 is equal to I3 plus I4. This law holds true because of the principle of conservation of charges, which states that the net electrical charge in an isolated system never changes. Let's take another example. We see here I1 and I2 are entering the system and I3, I4 and I5 are leaving the system. Applying Kirchhoff's current law, what do you get? Solve it and let us know in the comment section below. Moving on, let us now discuss the second law by Kirchhoff which is Kirchhoff's voltage law. Kirchhoff's voltage law states that the sum of voltages in a closed circuit is equal to zero. This is because in a closed circuit, no energy is lost. Let's have a look at the circuit here. We move around the loop in the direction of ABCDA. The sign convention that we will follow here is, if while moving around the loop, the positive terminal is encountered first, then that voltage will be considered positive, otherwise it will be considered negative. Then, while moving from A to B, the positive terminal is encountered first, hence we have a positive V1. Then moving from B to C, the negative terminal is encountered first, hence we have negative V2. Similarly, while moving from C to D, we have negative V3 and moving from D to A, we have negative V4. Thus, applying Kirchhoff's voltage law, we have positive V1 minus V2 minus V3 minus V4 equals 0. Similarly, considering the circuit here, we move in the direction of W, X, Y, Z, W. The voltages have been marked. Can you solve this one and let us know the answer in the comment section below? Well, with this, we'll end our video on fundamental laws of electrical circuits. In this video, we learned about Ohm's law and Kirchhoff's laws. Keep practicing and keep learning. We'll see you in the next one. Until then, bye.